just wanted to take a second here to show a new feature of the searchable world tweet map. Um, I basically I've added a word cloud that di that's dynamically updated as you're getting tweets based on whatever search you're doing. So I'll um, show you real quick. Let it. Ha happy birthday is the default search because there's always tweets about this because there's about I don't know what it is. Many millions of people having birthdays every day. So let this go for a second. To, um, so the word cloud I've hooked up. Let me show it. Basically, it's just a frequency count. Um, the top 25 frequency words. Um, I don't use some stop words. This little widget here is based on something that um, a guy named Tim Green Dream has on GitHub, and um, I do a little pre-processing to. But then I just send it to his little method that draws the words on the screen based on the um, font size I want them to use. And so it fits it in there and it kind of looks nice. And I'm, I'm not even doing anything fancy with colors. It's just picking the colors somehow, which kind of gives a nice little variety sometimes. Um, so you can kind of see what words tend to happen in tweets around your search term. Um, in this case, I've noticed that I was trying to figure out who Jarpad was because it's going on all the time. It's because he's some um, actor that whose birthday is today, and lots of people are wishing him happy birthday. This, these watching these tweets is generally a not unpleasant thing because it's nice stuff. People love happy birthday and all sorts of nice things. And when, again, if you change the search, this is going to be different based on whatever thing you're searching for. Um, but it kind of just gives the terms that are around that um, search term in the tweets, which can kind of be a different, a nice summary view of all these tweets that might be streaming by that you can't quite read, and you're just you maybe can see some patterns, sort of. But this just gives another way of getting some a crude estimate of some of the patterns. Um, the default is that it shows it when you go to a page, because but you can always hide it. This little thing there. It's kind of slowed down here, and that is it. The URL for this is should be in the description.